Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wake Forest Demon Deacons Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. We are in 2018, 2018, whatever you want to call it. Week 4, um, little direction change here, a little detour. Scouting update. Haven't done one of these in, I think, a year, honestly. I think in like 2016 on this franchise or Dynasty, sorry, Dynasty. Um... I said I was going to do these like quarterly or something or half. Yeah, we, I don't think we did one in 2017. So, 2018, the week before FSU, we are only three, or week four, we're 3-0. We just came off the big win against UNC in Chapel Hill, not Raleigh, not Durham, not wherever I said. I'm so sorry to offend everyone, but um, we're doing the scouting update, and I actually have papers in front of me to actually look at scouts. So today we're gonna be looking at six scouts, two from all of our team needs. Our team needs are tight ends, free safeties, and quarterbacks. So uh, let's just get into it. Let's get into the scouting. We're three and zero. Our next game is 0-2, Florida State, and uh, I believe it's in Tallahassee. And yeah, it is. It's in Tallahassee. So should be should be an interesting game. We obviously beat them last year, but Lost, I think, the following week to Clemson. And if they weren't the following week, then they were like one week after. But we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on scouts. So we go to our recruiting board. We've already done the points for this week. But honestly, it doesn't mean anything. So team needs. Obviously, one's going to pop out here. And it's it's going to be that 80 overall. So if we sort by uh, overall... Tight end, Kevin Dowling out of Laurenburg, North Carolina. He's primary blocking tight end. He's 80 overall. We're, we're fourth on his list. Um, It's just, I mean, I didn't think we could compete for guys like this. Even now, in 2018, what, six years? Six year in? Six years after? Um, I mean, I just, I didn't think we could still compete like this, but... We're fourth. He's fully scouted. He has 81 speed. He has 81 route running. He has 76 release. He has 78 run block, 76 pass block, 81 impact block. If you look at Curtis Crosby now, he can do that. I think his blocking might be a little lower, like maybe low 80s. So this would definitely help us. Um, his spark rating of 71, not bad. Um, really, we're just here looking at blocking he is a blocking primary tight end that's what we're looking at and his top schools are UNC Virginia Tech who we play next week North Carolina State and then Wake Forest outside that he has Ball State he has South Carolina and Clemson looks like South Carolina and Clemson are out projected locked cutoff we're under that line it looks like only two schools he is about 55 60% locked in or actually 67% locked in so we're gonna need to be on the ball if we want to get him our next guy we're looking at Mike Fulton cutoff line we uh, were dead last on that but we are in the cutoff line we're fourth he wants to go to Rutgers Kent State Bowling Green and we're actually up there maybe because we beat UNC last week I don't know but he's from Pennsylvania so Rutgers makes sense, Bowling Green makes sense, Kent State makes sense, all that good stuff. We're only 860 points out. Realistically, that's like two, three games, good games by us. And if we can beat Florida State and shock the ACC and beat Virginia Tech, we are going to have a serious shot at the ACC uh, Coastal. So with that in mind, those are our tight ends. Let's move on to free safeties. Aaron Neely. First one, he's from Orem, Utah. We are actually in the lead for him. He's a balanced free safety. 6'1", 198, currently three-star prospect. Bonus points, A-plus playing time. He would definitely be uh, probably a starter for us. Conference prestige, ACC is a very good conference. Championship contender, we proved it last year. We could probably get there. This year, we want to prove we can get there indefinitely. So, with that, we have 310 bonus points. I don't know why they're there, how we get them, but stat-wise, 
plus five overall. Originally, he was 64, so he came in at a 69. 100% scouted. Uh, free safety, you want to look at base and coverage more than anything. Zone coverage, 75 press, 72 man, 72. Speed, 82. Acceleration, 90. Jumping, 70. Agility, 78. Stamina, 83. Not the greatest stats for free safety, but let's remember he is a 69 overall. And again, top schools, us and Vanderbilt. And then that's it. We actually have him scheduled for a week seven visit. And uh, he's 58% locked in right now. So next guy on the free safety market, Eddie Gardner. Prospect review. We really don't know anything about this kid. He's from Beverly Hills, California. Uh, free safety balanced, just like Aaron Neely. 6'4", 190, three-star prospect. He actually, obviously, being in California, he wants to go to San Jose State, Stanford, and I don't know how we're third, but we're third. I'll take that blessing in disguise, I guess. We're 1,300 points out. Bonus points, obviously, playing time, probably low. Proximity home, why do we even have a grade? And conference prestige, we're probably going to have an A in everything. For him, 67 overall, plus 4, he started 63. 67 spark rating, so match that overall. Again, coverage and base, you're looking at 89 speed, 92 excel, 77 stamina, 70 jumping, 64 zone, 76 press, 61 man. I obviously would take Aaron Neely in this situation. I know you're two overall higher and... Uh, I just, I like coverage more than base. I mean, I can't really say anything. Other than that, top schools, Stanford, San Jose State, everyone else, thanks for playing, I guess. And then finally, in the quarterbacks, we need a quarterback. I don't know why, but we do. Kevin McKinney, we lead him. And then Duke, UNC, Rutgers, Tennessee. Again, thanks for coming. Here's a participation medal. I mean, really, I think we have this guy locked up. He is a 62 overall one star out of Clayton, North Carolina. He's balanced and he's 6'1, 210. Almost the same numbers as uh, Dustin Thomas, but if we go to his scouting, nowhere like Dustin Thomas. 65 speed. I think Thomas has like 84, 85 speed. I'm not sure if you guys want to go look at that. First video of 2018 preseason, I think. That's where you can find that. He has 76 throw power, throw, uh, 76 throw accuracy, my apologies, 70 throw power, he has 65 speed, 67 excel, 80 stamina, really nothing else, I just put him as a pocket passer, and then our final guy today, scouting update, Curtis Campbell, 79 speed, he could be a dual threat, possibly, uh, or scrambler, I don't know, 57 spark rating, 62 overall he came up six so he was a 56 that is a heck of an improvement 76 throw power only 69 throw accuracy so maybe some uh crawl routes or slants something like nothing beyond like seven or eight yards for this guy honestly he has 83 break tackles so if he does get pressured he has a very good chance of getting out juke move 82 really don't use that uh, 8, 59 strength, I don't know why, but hey, he has it. Top schools, Duke, second, uh, Northwestern, Illinois, Lane. Thanks for coming. We probably got this guy locked up, even though he is only at 73, 2,400 points. That's going to be hard to make up. He is from Villa Rica, Georgia, so I don't know. Georgia Southern's not in there. Um... Georgia State's not in there. I think we're the closest out of these four. I don't know where Tulane is. That's probably bad considering we played them. That's probably bad, but I don't know where they are. Um, Yeah, he's the scrambler. I didn't even look at that. I guess he's probably a scrambler. And guess what he is. So, guys, those are six prospects to look out for for Wake Forest. Obviously, if something else pops up in three or four weeks' time. Once again, I think we have our bye week in like two weeks, so maybe two or three weeks after our bye week if someone new pops up or obviously updates are going to change. We move into first for a guy just like Kevin Downing or Mike Fulton or anything like that. I will let you get know first here on JT Plays. Guys, thank you for watching this episode of Wake Forest Dynasty. Something a little different. I hope you didn't mind. 
And I will catch you guys all later next time when we take on the Knowles of Florida State from Tallahassee. Take care.